At SESI, we often say our focus group work complements our survey work by illustrating the why behind the what of the data. Conducting focus groups is important because it provides a voice to the numbers. For example, hearing community college students describe their experiences, either positive or negative, creates a sense of urgency. Either we need to do more of this or we need to look into this. Bottom line, we are in this work to improve the lives of students, and there is nothing more powerful than listening to and then acting upon our students' stories. Actually, the focus group work was my very one of my very first jobs when I came to work for SESI back when we were um, in 2001. Um, I ran part of my job was to run the MetLife student success work. And it was the very first grant we received at the um, SESI to do focus group work by the MetLife Foundation. And we picked a handful of colleges um, based off of their SESI data to go and look and visit with their students about the work they were doing in student success. And it was the first time we went out, we built a protocol, we videotaped the video. The, actually, that was the, the first time we ever went out. We actually worked with the colleges. I think it's just so important to be able to present a data point and then show the video. So they're just complementary pieces of research. To just say, look at data is not enough. And I think that's where the focus groups can be a real asset for colleges. The focus group video, I think, really just adds immensely to the National Report publications because the National Report publications really focus on the data um, and what story are the data telling. But the students and the faculty and staff um, in the focus groups are able to kind of add that human voice um, to the data, to the numbers. The other thing is that and this is true for Ness, it's true for any survey. The, the results don't tell you anything. It's the conversations that the results provoke among the people who are looking at them that, that is where you learn. Uh, and so it, it really is, uh, uh, the, the art of this is trying to find a, a venue where you can talk about um, the, uh, the results and having students talk about the results. We didn't have a lot of that going on, uh, but some campuses did focus groups uh, that uh, where they convened uh, respondents and said, well, talk talk through this. Um, um, you know, t tell me why you said what you said. And those are really uh, uh, kinds of uh, kinds of things. So student self reflection uh, yields even greater uh, self consciousness and self determination. I think of, uh, of of what's going on. One of the things for me in um, doing. Uh, working in the research realm is that the numbers give you the what and the, the voices give you the why. Very early on, it became clear to me that students who were sitting in front of me are the smartest people in the room about their experience at the college. And what was painful was recognizing that institutionally we were not always recognizing and drawing upon what students were bringing. Our students bring such a wealth of experience and knowledge and we don't always know how to bring that forward because they don't necessarily fit into the mold that we think they need to fit into when they get there.